All right, everybody. All right, Zane from Really Easy AI. Welcome to the first uh, session in the Enterprise series. We're going to be going through the three major cloud providers. Um, uh, that's the ultimate goal. Uh, we're going to be doing Google, obviously, um, Microsoft Azure, and AWS. Uh, we're going to do deep dives on all of them. So we're going to start with Google. And then once I feel like we've exhausted Google uh, in terms of all it has to offer from an AI perspective, we will move on to uh, probably Amazon next and then uh, Azure. I haven't decided yet what the order is, but here it is. So this is the first of many. And uh, this is Introduction to Google Cloud Skills Boost for AI Professionals. Now, I will most likely be making these uh, members only at some point. Um, just because of the amount of effort and time it takes to do these and a variety of other reasons. So uh, I'm, I'm presenting these now. I'm going to put these out there to get people started. Uh, and so you can see what, you know, kind of the path we're going down. Uh, and then I will uh, most likely uh, make it so that it's a members only type uh, benefit. Uh, with that said, um, I still don't and won't if I have... Uh, any uh, slide decks or anything like that, you can still find them on my GitHub repository. Uh, the link is in my channel page. Uh, I'm never, ever, ever putting my slides uh, or my code behind a paywall. It's never going to happen. Content, yes, um, just out of necessity in some cases, but uh, not, uh, uh, not slides and uh, code. Okay, so here we go. Introduction to Google Cloud Skills Boost for AI Professionals. So, the idea here is that you want to learn about um, Google Enterprise AI offerings. That is, the, that is the point of view I'm taking, and you want to go down that road. That's great. You're in the right place. First and foremost, you have to set a goal. And it seems kind of weird that I would have to say this, but yes, you kind of have to decide between certification and or knowledge. Now you're going to see what I mean about that in a second. So we're going to discuss this in, in detail so you understand where I'm coming from on this. So let's start with the certification. If your goal is certification and you are an artificial intelligence practitioner or data scientist, the real, there really is only one certification for you. It's the machine learning engineer certification. By the way, you can go to cloudgoogle.com, uh, learn and certifications. Uh, and I will include a link to the GitHub repository that has a slide deck. And as many of you know, and have taken my sessions before, in the notes for all these slides, or most of the slides, there will be links to everything I show here. So there is, in fact, a link to this page. Let me take you there now. And here it is. So Google Cloud Certification. And it talks about certification and you can make a ton of money being certified and all that. I don't know about that so much. Um, but certainly, you know, having your certification does help, uh, particularly on job interviews and that sort of thing. So, sure, go nuts. You can see here they've got different certifications. The foundational certifications validate broad knowledge of cloud concepts, products, and services. Yeah, if you want to go down those roads, go for it. It's a cloud digital leader I haven't even really looked at it. Uh, are, can articulate capabilities of Google Cloud core products. These tend to talk about other things than AI. Therefore, I'm not interested in them. And I don't even have these certifications. I'm not a cloud digital leader or a cloud engineer. Uh, I am a cloud database engineer and a machine learning engineer. Uh, so, um, and really this is the only one that applies to AI. So I'm gonna click on this one because I want you to see the details of the machine learning engineer, which is following my slides here. So the machine learning engineer is the pinnacle or really the only major um, AI certification that Google offers. Uh, and here you can see just a description, a professional machine learning engineer builds, evaluates, productionizes, and optimizes machine learning models by using Google Cloud technologies and knowledge of proven models and techniques. The machine learning engineer handles large, complex data sets, creates repeatable, reusable code. The engineer considers responsible AI and fairness, and on and on and on the list goes. So there's quite a bit going on here, and it is not a trivial exam. It is a very, very difficult exam. 
So unless you are uh, have been using Google machine learning products quite a bit and understand it and are deep into data science, this may not and most likely will not be the path you want to go. And that may surprise people because they're like, well, wait a minute, I want to be a certified you know, AI guy. Well, yes, that's fine. But unfortunately, there's some good and bad news here. Um, now, good news is, no, this exam does not directly assess coding skills. If you have a minimum prof proficiency in Python and Cloud SQL, you should be able to interpret any questions in the code snippets. I can attest to that. that for the most part, that's true. Um, you really don't need deep code, but you are going to be tested on a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, architect, low-code ML solutions, collaborate with and across teams. You really got to understand data science, understand what um, L1 is, L2, what's regularization, um, and on and on it goes. Scale prototypes, scale and serve models, how to retrain, ML ops, machine learning operations, all that stuff, which eventually we will get into. But I want you to understand that is deep, 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 okay? Um, now, here is the news I want you to see. Notice at the bottom, they put this. The professional machine learning engineer exam does not cover generative AI. Now, what is generative AI? That is any large language model for the most part, anything that generates images, anything that is generative AI, which is the main reason most of us or most of you have probably come to my channel. So while the machine learning engineer certification is a good thing on a surface, um, and certainly worth having, you know, I think, uh, it's not gonna cover one of the main reasons that, and one of the main pieces of knowledge we need today, one of the main things that may actually get you hired somewhere. It doesn't cover Gen AI. So from an exam perspective, the exam is kind of useless early on. And I don't recommend you start with the exam. I recommend you start with knowledge. We'll get to that as well. But here you see the professional machine learning engineer exam does not cover generative AI as the tools used to develop generative AI solutions are evolving quickly. Yeah, like daily. Uh, if you're interested in generative AI, please refer to introduction to generative AI. We're gonna look at that, the learning path or the Generative AI for Developers Learning Path, we're also gonna be looking at that. If you're a partner, please refer to Gen AI Partner Courses. You guys aren't gonna be partners, I don't think. Now, if any of you are working in a, a company where you are actually a Google Cloud partner, then you will have access to additional courses that normal folks, regular folks, won't have access to. And you definitely wanna go down those paths as well. Um, so if that is, if you are part uh, or somewhere where you are a Google Cloud partner, by all means, go down the partner paths. Uh, in addition to, I recommend you kind of do them all to kind of see what normal folks see and then see what partners see. Um, okay, <clears throat> real quick, for those who are thinking about the exam, let me just kind of cover off on the last pieces of it. It is a two-hour exam, or up to two hours anyway. Registration fee is $200.00. So it is not cheap. Uh, it is in English, and the format is 50 to 60 multiple choice and multiple select questions. Do not be fooled by that number. These are hard, hard scenario-based questions. These are non-trivial questions, okay? You will not be able to just take, take a little few study uh, sample questions, run off and take this exam. That is not going to happen. Okay, so you may be wondering how I know this exam is as hard as it is, it's because I am, in fact, a machine learning certified professional. So I do have the professional machine learning engineer certification from Google. Um, I have been through that pain and suffering. I know exactly what that exam entails. It is not easy. All right, and then this is just a reiteration of the generative AI path. So again, as I said, you really have to make a decision between knowledge and certification, at least in the Google case, actually in most cases, because a lot of times there's a ton of great knowledge, but you don't get a certification for it. Now, these days, what they're starting to do and what Google does a pretty good job of, I think, is give you badges, which are not full-on certifications, but they're cool anyway, because they... Um, kind of get you along the path. Let me show you an example of that. I think I've got my Credly stuff up here. So you can actually get these uh, badges from Credly. 
Uh, let me pull up my badges here. And then I'll just show it to you real quick. Let's see. Can you guys see that? So this is this is kind of what it looks like. You'll get these extra little badges along the way. And then notice I've got badges from other places too. And then I've got, you know, certificates and lions and tigers and bears and all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, I'm a lot of things. Professional scrum master, product owner, blah, 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 blah. And I forgot. These are partner certs, by the way. You can't get these, I don't think, unless you're a partner. But they're real good about giving, you know, again, I think Google does a pretty good job about giving you the badges. And uh, I'm pretty sure... When we do the intro Gen AI, I think you get a badge for that. So um, that'll be cool. But that is the path we're going down. Um, we are going to go down the knowledge path. We will eventually get to all the knowledge that covers the certification, I think. We may not do it straight away. I may do all the Gen AI for Google, Amazon, and, and Azure, and then come back to machine learning. I haven't decided yet. But we are going to be heavily focused on the knowledge side um, and then we can get badges and certifications after knowledge acquisition. That's my take. It's kind of always been my take. All right, so since we made a decision to go down the knowledge path then, um, how do we get started? Well, getting started is actually pretty darn easy. All you have to do to get started is, is go to the uh, Google Cloud Skills Boost area. That is the center of the universe for obtaining knowledge uh, for doing whatever it is you want to do. Now, if you recall, um, this little disclaimer at the bottom said, hey, if you want to learn about generative AI, go to the generative AI learning path. Well, let's check it out. When we go to the generative AI learning path, you'll notice it takes us to Google Cloud Skills Boost. See it here at the top? Google Cloud Spills Skills Boost. So this is a learning path we can go down. And so that's what they were pointing to. They're actually pointing to all the learning paths we're going to be looking at, except for the partner path. So um, with that said, though, I don't want to start with the path. I want to take you through the whole series of uh, stuff that's available. So let me just grab that real quick. Give me just a second. I need to make a quick fix here. Okay, so um, we're leaving certification behind. Now we're going to go to Google Cloud Skills Boost. Okay, well, I don't know what happened there. Let's try that again. Okay, that is super weird. There we go. Okay, I'm not sure what. Keep pasting in there. All right, so this is the cloudskillsboost.google page. Um, and it is your one-stop shop for learning. If you're going to be doing any type of knowledge acquisition about Google Cloud, it's here at Google Cloud Skills Boost. This is where you go to learn. Now, there's good news and bad news, and we're going to go through some of that as well, but this is where it all begins right here. So you can see here it says your one stop, your one stop, they should say shop, I guess, your one stop to build marketable skills through labs, courses, and learning paths. When you're ready to prove you know your stuff by earning a skill badge, you can share it on social media hiring, and hiring platforms like LinkedIn and Credly. Um, create an account today and start learning generative AI through a new free of cost learning path. That's right. The thing we're going to start with is absolutely free. Thank God. And then you can begin accessing more of it. We'll get to subscriptions in a minute, but this is the beginning of it. Now, uh, once you come here, then there are several paths you can go down. Let me just scroll on down here. So uh, here, what are some of the advantages? Learn directly from Google Cloud experts. Skill up with cloud badges. We already talked about that. Um, there's some FAQs here as well. And we talked about the badges. I took you through those. I'm kind of doing things out of order. I, I'm just doing them as they flow. So they may not match with the slides straight away, but we'll get there. So yeah, you get your badges. Um, now let's talk about subscriptions real quick, and then we'll get to FAQs. So up here at the top, you'll notice you have paths, explored subscriptions. I want to start with subscriptions. If you are going to do anything that is not free, and don't worry, you could you start free, you just create an account, you take the free stuff. When you get to the paid stuff, it's going to block you from doing it until you pay. So you'll it'll be very clear when you have to pay. It won't be like, well, I didn't know I had to pay. No, no. It'll be 100% clear when you have to pay because you won't be able to access the course. So with that said, we do need to talk about subscriptions. There are fundamentally two subscriptions. 
There is the monthly subscription, 29 bucks a month. Basically unlocks everything um, and lets you do all your good stuff. If you're looking to just get in, do some quick learning, uh, and then get out again, this is definitely the way to go. It's the cheaper path, uh, you know, as long as you're not going to be in for like a full year or something. Um, you know, obviously at 10 months, this kind of becomes moot. So if you're going to be in for 10 months or longer, then you you know, I suggest you go the annual subscription. But if you're just going to be in, if you think you're just going to be in for a month, or if you're just trying it out for the first time, start with a monthly, see if you're happy with what's offered, and then you can always upgrade to annual. With that said, uh, I am an annual subscription uh, subscriber because I am, you know, this is what I do for a living, right? This is my job. So uh, I do have the annual subscription. The annual subscription gives you all the courses and all that stuff. So basically, the monthly gives you all the courses. And then the annual gives you all the courses plus $500 Google Cloud credits, one certification voucher for up to $200 value. What are Google Cloud credits? Uh, you have to, for the paid items, you actually have to pay for them. And this gives you credits for them if, for the really, really high-end items. Um, uh, $500 additional Google Cloud credits per year after successfully passing a certification exam. So very nice. Live learning events hosted by Google Cloud technical trainers. Quarterly, quarterly technical briefings hosted by Google Cloud executives and one-on-one -on -one consultations with Google Cloud experts. Now I have this. I'm going to be honest. I've sucked at taking advantage of these and I need to get better at it. So uh, later on, we might do a deep dive into this to uh, show you some of the ways you can take advantage of it and for me to learn how to do it as well because I really haven't been doing it that well. So with that said, um, you do not have to make this decision today. Uh, today, we're going to be doing the free stuff and I'm, I'm making sure it's free because I'm, I'm doing it incognito. Uh, but uh, do recognize that you will hit a paid uh, point at some point so uh, once you do that once you hit paid then you know you're going to need to make that decision whether you want to continue on your knowledge acquisition or not okay so that's subscriptions uh, definitely something you'll need to consider now let's get into faqs here are some faqs uh oh wait sorry one more thing about subscriptions i need to tell you for those in other countries that are not in the united states i'm in the u.s but if you get the Innovators Plus subscription, it requires you to have a Google account and a developer profile. Again, both are easy to create, so it's usually a non-issue, and I, I believe it even walks you through it. However, and this is a big deal, I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure what's driving this, but for customers in the EEA, the UK, and Switzerland, Innovators Plus is restricted to business or professional use. You can't have it as a personal thing uh not sure why i don't even know what the eea is what the hell is the eea i gotta look it up eea oh european environmental agency really is that is that really it customers in in the eea is that okay well, i guess it's a european thing uh clearly but what the hell anyway be aware of that if you're in those countries you will be restricted um, so yeah, keep that in mind. All right, so now let's get to the FAQ. What is Google Cloud Skills Boost? Well, we already identified that. It offers all the training you're gonna need to uh, have knowledge acquisition and to get certified, honestly. Uh, what are hands-on labs? Hands-on labs are exactly what they sound like. They give you hands-on practical experience. Now, I'm gonna warn you up front because a lot of you are probably like me and you don't like timed things. These labs are timed. However, there is plenty of time to do the labs. Um, so you'll almost never have an issue with it. And plus, even if time runs out, you can just restart the lab. So it's it's a non-issue. They're timed so that, you know, they, the lab resources don't just hang out there forever. Uh, what is a Google Cloud Certificate? Google Cloud Certificates uh, prepare learners for entry-level ro roles in cloud in areas of data analytics and cybersecurity. Yeah, that's the what people are saying. You know, you get the Google Cloud Certificate. Eh, okay. I do it for the other stuff. 
I happen to have my data analytics cloud certificate. And certainly you can get it too if you want. It's a nice certificate to have, but it hasn't gotten me anything. Uh, it certainly hasn't gotten me a job. Um, all right, how do I get access to Google Cloud certificates? And then learners can preview the certificates at no cost on YouTube. Yay, yay, yay. Um, and all that good stuff. So there it is. If you want to get down the certificate path. I'm not interested in certificates, although if you earn them incidentally as you go down the knowledge path, I think it's great. Any badges or cert certificates you get are great. Ultimately, um, certainly the badges and things will help you and certificates will help you a little bit. Um, you will definitely want to let prospective employers know you have them. But, um, you know, again, the big one, the actual only certification is the professional machine learning certification. So keep that in mind. Okay, so now it's time to explore learning paths. So remember, there's three things up here, right? There's paths, explore, and subscriptions. Now, if you're signed in, there'll also be a profile section here too. I'm just not showing it because I'm incognito. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about learning paths. So learning paths are pretty much what they sound like. Learning paths will get you started down a path. Instead of an individual course, it gets you started down an entire path of learning. And uh, since I'm incognito here, uh, you can see I've gone to the past section. It has a nice uh, little intro, create an account, and then um, and start learning through uh, generative AI through a new free of cost learning path, beginner introduction to generative AI. Ironically, this is the first one we're going to do. So yeah, pretty cool. And it's free. They, they say it's free over and over again. It is in fact free. Now you can explore other learning paths here as well. If you scroll down, get, select, uh, get started by selecting a learning path, and it will list out other learning paths that are available. These are broad stroke learning paths. So you may be looking at this going, wow, there's really not a ton of them. Um, uh, or you may look at this and go, my God, there's a, a ton of them. Yeah, there is. Now, if we try to filter on just the AI pieces, it may look like there's just not a lot there, right? There's, there's like four or five. But you've got to remember each one of these goes deep into a whole bunch of stuff. So it is not, you know, th th these things go deep, deep, deep. All right, let me click on this. For example, we're going to do the beginner introduction to generative AI learning path in the next session. So if I click on this, you can see um, there's five activities. You definitely want to pay attention to when it was last updated about two months ago. That's perfect. Uh, learning path provides an overview of generative AI concepts and fundamentals of large language models to responsible AI principles. Great. You start a learning path and then it shows you everything in the learning path. Introduction to Gen AI, 45 minutes. Introduction to LLMs, 30 minutes. Introduction to responsible AI, 30 minutes. Prompt design in Vertex AI, pretty sweet. Uh, up to five hours and 15 minutes. And then responsible AI, applying AI principles with Google Cloud, one hour and 30 minutes. So this is really, this is the big one, prompt design and Vertex AI. Uh, you're going to like that one. Uh, and then the rest are really building up, making sure you understand the concepts and, and, and ease into it a little bit. So we're going to do all of that uh, as we get into this. But uh, anyway, just be aware of that and be aware that those things are there. And we'll talk about it. All right, so let's see. And then once we do that, there is now notice it jumps from beginner to advanced. The, there is really no intermediate. The intermediate has to do with uh, Gemini specifically, um, but that's really not for us here. So for straight, you know, full on uh, pure generative AI using Vertex and all the things we're going to use, there's the beginner and there's the advanced. And then there's this one, which I haven't seen before, Google Cloud Applied AI Summit Learning Path. Let's see what that's all about. This was updated seven months ago, so it's pretty old. Uh, generative AI with Vertex, Gem Gemini for application developers. Mm, no, I think this is just a collection of stuff you're going to come across anyway. Yeah, no, this, is, this isn't this is worth it. Because you're going to come across these anyway and these others. So, yeah, I, I probably won't. Uh, we probably won't look at this unless it has something. I'll look back at it later on and see if it has something special in it. Uh, there's also Contact Center and Vertex AI Search for Retail. These are specialized, but certainly you can do those later as you become more advanced. So that's what paths do. Paths are 
complete an entire pass that you can go down. Now, there's more to it. Uh, let's see here. Oh, by the way, when you complete a, a path, the entire path, when you're looking at it, the list of paths turns green. So it's a great way to kind of know how you're doing or what you've completed in the past. This is an example of that uh, that I have on mine because I've completed this one. All right, uh, exploring courses. So there is a way to go deeper into this stuff. You can explore the catalog or the courses individually. And that, of course, is the explore section here. So again, in Google Cloud Skills Boost, we have paths, we have explore, we got subscriptions. If I click on explore, that now lets me go on a per course level. So if you really have to learn a particular thing quickly, like you need to learn Kubernetes real quick for some reason, then you can look up all the Kubernetes stuff or you need to do a deep dive on TensorFlow or BigQuery. Whatever it is you need to do, this allows you to kind of uh, look for courses that cover that topic and then kind of create your own path out of it. So it's, it's a very useful type of uh, uh, feature for you. All right, so one of the things then as you're digging through this is you need to be able to sort through these. And this is kind of interesting. Um, you know, you could even look for ones that give you badges. So, for example, if, if you're really like a badge hunter, you could go, okay, well, find me courses that give me a skills badge um, and then that have, you know, AI in it. You know, do a search. I believe all these kind of do that. Or it must have filtered already. But there you go. Um, now, if you want to do, uh, maybe you want to do a completion badge. Uh, also AI, and I think it's slightly modified. There we go. Now it's slightly modified the course list. There you go, generative AI, Explorer, Baseline, Data AI ML, and on and on it goes. So if you want to do um, any badge, skills badge, or completion badge, I, you know, badges come as they come. So I recommend you just kind of uh, not worry about the badges for now. You just get them as they come. Uh, and focus on things that you're going to learn about, like whether you want a course or a lab. Uh, courses are differentiated from labs in that courses are full on, you know, longer elements, right? Versus labs, which are uh, less. There we go. Let's get some labs. Uh, labs tend to be uh, shorter and they're hands-on. So labs are hands-on. Courses are also hands-on. I believe courses also mix with labs. I'm sure they do. But if you want to focus on just labs, you just want to jump right in and start doing labs, you can't. Uh, and a lot of times you can learn stuff just from the labs. I don't recommend it. The labs are meant to go with courses in most uh, cases. So I, I recommend that you stick with the, uh, and, and probably uh, go the course path over the lab path. Then of course the, there's languages, you can choose any language, and that is pretty much it. So you can go down the individual course route. If you're desperate and you need to learn a particular set of skills quickly, uh, that is the way to go. However, the preferred way, and the way I would, you know, we're gonna go is down the path. And that is pretty much it. So now you've had your nice introduction to, uh, hopefully at this point, Google Cloud Skills Boost. You understand what we're going to be doing. You understand what your options are and the paths you can go down. Uh, we will begin the next session by going down the um, uh, the beginning in, uh, beginner introduction to generative AI learning path, which is free. Now, uh, real quick, just understand that uh, between now and then, you may want to go ahead and sign in and sign up. That's that's always a good idea. Go ahead and get that knocked out because we're going to jump right into the learning path straight away. I'm not going to take you through the sign-up process. I'm going to assume you've already done that. It's a fairly straightforward uh, mechanism. All right, that's it. Uh, boys and girls, this is Zane. I'll see you next time.